A clear night sky is filled with stars in every direction. It is almost as if you are at the center of the universe. But if not, then the question arise on where the center of the universe is located. Welcome back to my channel. Why there is no center of the universe. Throughout history, humans have falsely believed that Earth, the Sun, or even the Milky Way galaxy were at the center of the universe. No matter how unique we humans believe ourselves to be, the universe has thus far proven otherwise. In actuality, the universe has no center. Since the Big Bang occurred, the universe has been expanding, but contrary to its name, the Big Bang was not an explosion that radiated outward from a central detonation point. The universe was initially extremely compact and small. Then all points in the universe expanded uniformly, a process that continues to this day. Approximately 14 billion years ago, the Big Bang initiated all known existence, and a common misunderstanding is to imagine it as an explosion. As the universe came into existence, space and time were created, there was no explosion, but if you want to hold the analogy, there was an explosion-like process that occurred everywhere at the same time. But imagining it as an explosion leads us to believe that it originated from a single point, but this is not the case. There is no universe's center because there is no universe's edge. In a finite universe, space is curved in such a way, that if you traveled far enough in a straight line, you would eventually return to your starting point. But the possibility exists that our universe can be also infinite. Because there was no single point where it began, all distances in the universe were zero, so every point in the universe was essentially in the same location everywhere. The visible universe spans approximately 94 billion light years. Everything that can be observed. Considering this, we are at the center of it. According to cosmologists, what we observe has two crucial characteristics. It is isotropic and uniform. It is isotropic if it appears identical in any direction, and it is uniform if it appears identical at the largest scale. A second way to define a center would be to identify a unique object or feature, such as a supermassive black hole or a supersized nebula. Observations suggest that all types of objects are randomly distributed throughout the universe. Regardless of our attempts to define and identify it, the universe has no center. On a universal scale, the universe is uniform on average. If you run time backwards, there must have been a time when the universe was condensed into a single point, given that the universe is expanding. Since the universe is expanding there must be a center of expansion, this seems reasonable. However, observations have shown that this is not the case. The universe is expanding in all directions at the same rate. Every point in space is moving away from every other point at the same rate. This may be difficult to visualize, but the central idea is that objects in the universe are not actually moving apart on a universal scale. Instead, relativity fixes the objects in space, and space itself is expanding. You might be tempted to assert that the Big Bang occurred at the center of the universe. As a result of the Big Bang's creation of space and time, the Big Bang occurred everywhere in the universe and not at a single point. The primary consequence of the Big Bang was the cosmic background radiation, a flash of light. If the Big Bang occurred at a single point in space, we would only see this flash of light emanating from a single point in the sky. Instead, the flash appears to originate from all points in space equally. In addition, once the motion of the Earth around the Sun is accounted for, the cosmic microwave background radiation is on average, equally intense in all directions. This indicates that there is no expansion center. These facts provide some insight into the universe as a whole, which is much larger than the visible universe. We do not yet know how much larger or what the entirety of the universe is like, so our portion of the universe could be unique or representative of the whole. 
The universe being infinite is the simplest scenario to deal with, because something that is infinite lacks a central point. Our small human brains did not evolve to comprehend the concept of infinity, but if something continues indefinitely, we can assume there is no particular halfway point. However, it is not certain that the universe will continue forever, it is possible that it will end. Consider a sphere as example of an object with a definite center, but based on our knowledge of the physical universe, our experience does not apply to the entirety of the universe, as the geometry with which we are most familiar does not correspond to the geometry of a finite universe. We must deal with the concept of curvature, in this respect, the universe could be flat, open or closed. The total amount of mass and energy in the universe determines whether or not it is flat or curved. If the universe's mass and energy density are just right, at the so-called critical density, then it would be as flat as a sheet and expand at an accelerating rate. However, if the density is greater, the universe would be curved like a balloon. The additional gravity from this increased density would slow the expansion of the universe, eventually bringing it to a halt. Meanwhile, below this critical density, the expansion of the universe would accelerate even further. In this scenario, the universe would have negative curvature and resemble a saddle in shape. However, it would still be infinite and thus centerless. Theoretical concepts and observations such as the cosmic microwave background radiation, the afterglow of the Big Bang, point to a universe that is remarkably flat. Cosmologists are still uncertain as to whether the universe is truly flat, or if the curvature is so great that the universe only appears flat, similar to how the surface of Earth feels flat. Consistent with the cosmological principle, which states that no location in the universe is unique, the universe lacks a center, and by extension a boundary. Observations of the distribution of galaxy clusters and the cosmic microwave background reveal a universe, that when viewed from a sufficient distance, appears uniform everywhere. If you consider only the surface of a sphere, it lacks a center. The sphere's center is located outside of this area, so it is not real. The center of a sphere exists in the three-dimensional space in which it is embedded. As far as we can tell, our physics operates in a four-dimensional space-time continuum. When viewed in more dimensions, the curvature may suggest a central position. But if there is one, it does not exist within our universe as we know it. Thank you for watching.